Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing video. Today I will open this box that I received from my good friend Marco the Mata from Luxembourg. He is a big fan of Vizuino and he has asked me to add this board for him. I didn't have the board and he was generous enough to send me one so I can go ahead and add it so you all can enjoy the Vizuino support for the board. Let's carefully open the box. I'm not sure where it's supposed to open. So just cut. He has packed it very well. It came all the way from Luxembourg to here in California. And he appears to have made sure that it arrives in one piece. Okay, it seems like I actually have opened it the right way, roughly. We have to help it here with the good old rusty scissors. Oh boy. Let's see what we have here. We seem to have it wrapped in some Christmas napkin, tissue of some sort, and boy, it really looks like a beautiful adapter board. So from what my, my understanding is, this is, oh wow has place for batteries, so obviously it has some sort of RTC on board, I presume. I really don't know. Yeah, it's, it's going to be quite interesting board to add to Vizuino. It is expander board for TNC. And I believe this is a four, one of the 4.0, I presume, version. I think, yeah, I think it's TNC 4.0. It has ESP8266, I believe. Let's make sure. From what I can read, that yes, it is a 266 uh, Wi-Fi chip. Obviously, it can also be programmed with your own firmware, but most likely comes with the standard AT firmware for 8266, equivalent to most likely ESP01 module, as they're usually called. It also has adapter for micro SD, which directly is routed. Let's lift very carefully, not to damage anything, the TNC. So this cable here routes the micro SD. Oh wow, there are some spring loaded pins here that contact the TNC so it's quite an intricate board Marco was uh, generous enough not only to send the board but to send me even TNC with pre-soldered cable ribbon cable for the micro SD here uh, he knew that I don't have such TNC with uh, pre-soldered cable and donated not only the board but also the TNC on top of it. There is most likely also RTC on board. I'll try to figure out. Well, there appears to be Bluetooth as well. Okay. I understand. So, there is much more than what I mentioned. Apparently here there is a place to uh, install Bluetooth, serial Bluetooth module. Yeah, I see already. So there is option for NRF 2401 
not sure where the 2401 will be connected but uh, we'll see could be on this connector here I'll have to study um, anything else the card and to be honest I do not see any RTC on board at the moment uh, could be here could very well be here but I don't know so we have to continue to study what's on this uh, expander board obviously the board is designed to convert TNC into Arduino Mega form factor that being said, installing shields is going to be a little bit challenging uh, mainly because of the TNC being here on top so obviously obstructing uh, any potential shields however with proper extenders uh, I think you will be able to stack shields on top of this one yeah it's a interesting uh, adapter board very very interesting one as I said I'll have to uh, study more about it before I even start adding it into Visuino and uh, yeah I will most certainly uh, will make some interesting video tutorials once I figure it all out so I did some research on the board and discovered that it is available on Tindy. There is some information about the board and what's available where. It appears to arrive originally, partially assembled only. And here I have found instructable that shows how to actually assemble the board and plug the TNC4, I believe it is 4. Point, well yes, TNC 4.0 as I uh, believed. There is also repository with some example projects for the board. As I expected, the ESP8266 is pre-programmed with some form of AT firmware, most likely similar or equivalent to the typical firmware for ESP01. I still will need to study it more, but that should make it quite easy to add the Visual support as I have written my own library for non-blocking communication with ESP01 type of modules. At least modules program with this type of firmware. There is also some more information. Basically, uh, the way it works is you can uh, plug, let me find it exactly, the NRF module plugs as I suspected here. The pins here are pretty much the pins from the ESP. 12, 8266 type of chip. There are pins for the GPIO, the serial communication, and uh, SPI, all uh, wired to the chip. From what I have seen in the schematic, I believe that you should be able to plug USB to serial converter module directly to the ESP, set it in bootloader mode and upload your own firmware. So theoretically you should be able to program both the TC and the ESP8266 on board from Visuino if you want to replace the original AT based firmware that's in the ESP8266. So you have a fair amount of flexibility. That's pretty much all the information I was able to gather online. I will keep you updated and hopefully we should have this board fully mapped and operational 
in the next version of your Zoom. Thank you very much Marco D'Amata for donating the board. Everybody should be very grateful for his generosity. People like him make it possible for me to keep adding more and more modules as I simply am unable to buy everything that everybody wants added uh, to Vizuino. That's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you liked it, please remember to click the like button and if you like the channel, you can also subscribe. Every little bit helps both with making the videos and keeping the Visuino development. Have a great time everyone! Goodbye!